Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here and recently we have been requested to make a brand new tier list and they wanted a tier list of three of my favourite TV shows. The story of Tracy Beaker, Tracy Beaker Returns and The Dumping Ground. I mean everyone's a fan of these shows and to be honest it's just a perfect opportunity to make an awesome tier list. But because there are so many different characters in all three of these shows, I'm deciding to make three separate videos on this. So today's video will be the story of Tracy Beaker tier list, where we'll rank all the different characters, and if this video gets a certain amount of likes, I'm gonna say maybe 10 likes, is that pushing it considering we're only a small channel? Maybe, who knows, but if this video gets, let's say, 10 likes, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna release a Tracy Beaker Returns tier list, and then so on with the Dumping Ground tier list. So, if you want that, make sure that you smash this like button, on this video so that you get that future tier list. So today we are going to be ranking all of the main characters from the original story of Tracy Beaker and putting them into a good old tier list and seeing truly who is the best character. But before we go any further please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified whenever we make a brand new video. So let's start off with this tier list, but before we go any further, I'm just going to let you guys know that there will be a link down below to this tier list in the description. If you want to play along at home yourself and then share it online, make sure that you tag us on all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, at Gate of Theories, and make sure you do that so that we can get to see how different your tier list is to ours. So make sure that you click that link down below in the description so that you can play along at home. And just a reminder that this is my personal opinion, you guys might have very different opinions on where these characters all go, so make sure you let me know in the comments down below where you guys would rank these characters on your very own tier list, because my opinion may be completely different to yours. So, let's start off with the first one. Okay, so to start off this tier list, we need to have our tiers first, of course, makes sense. And I'm just going to get this one right out of the way. The top tier is of course going to be the Tracy Beaker tier, so I'm just going to put Tracy right up there because no one is better than Tracy Beaker whatsoever. She is one of the best characters. They made a main character really, really good because sometimes you can have those main characters where like you much prefer a side character and they're not really that good. Tracy Beaker is not that. So the first tier is definitely going to be called the Tracy Beaker tier and to get up there you have to be like a really, really good character. Then for the second tier we're going to have the DG family. It's mentioned a lot that all these people are really close in the DG, so the second tier, which is pretty good, is the DG family. Then, the third tier, which is sort of like, they're good, okay, they're not like the best, but they are pretty good, is we've decided to call it relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. Because Gus, you all know him, he went around with his notebook and he would write down everything that was worth writing about. So, if you're just good enough to be around, then you're relevant enough to be in this category. Next, the fourth category is pretty bad, you know, you're sort of like not really there. It's more non-existent than Tracy's mum. If you've seen the story of Tracy Beaker, you will know exactly what that is like. Then the fifth tier, you're starting to get really bad now. Elaine the Pain's best mate, no one wants to be that. And then finally, the just bog off tier, Tracy's catchphrase that she used all the time and just it's just like, get away, we really do not want you in this TV show right now. So, first of all, we have Mike. Now, I think Mike is one of those ones where, like, sometimes he's, like, brilliant, and then, like, a, one or two episodes here and there, he won't be, like, the best character. But I think just because he literally ties the dumping ground, Tracy Beaker Returns, and the story of Tracy Beaker, like, all together, he has to go right up to the Tracy Beaker category. Like, he, he is just really, really great. Next, we have Cam. Uh... I don't really know like she's really good when she's needed but then again lots of the time she's just part of the side which I think is pretty unfair for the character so I'd say relevant enough to be in Gus Stokebook or the DG family I think I think she's she's definitely better than the third category so we'll, we'll put her in the second one again these may change throughout it we'll just see Justine Littlewood now Lots of people absolutely hate this character, and then lots of people absolutely love her. So, I, mm, I don't really know. I think this one might change halfway through, depending. But I, I don't think she's definitely not in the bottom three, because she is a good character. And when she returns in Tracy Beaker Returns, it is one of the best episodes. So, I'd say 
I'm going to have to put her in the DG family. She's just, like, too important. Duke, uh, he's going right to the top. Everyone loves Duke. Elaine the Pain, again, I think she she has to go right at the top. Like, she is just iconic. She is so iconic. Okay, uh, LOL and Bouncer. LOL, I do really like. Like, loads of people really love him. But I... I don't think he's Tracy Beaker worthy. I think the DG family. Okay, and this next one is probably an unpopular opinion. But like, Bouncer, I've never really seen why everyone loves him so much. That's probably like, a re you guys are probably going to hate me in the comments right now. But like, is is he as good as LOL and the rest of these people? Uh, no. No, uh, he's going to have to go relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. Like, he's good, but I I don't see the hype around him. Louise, I feel like she was just there, like, she she didn't really do much for the first few seasons she was in, and then she left and came back, and, mm, I'd say, like, she's a good character when she's in it, but, like, no, she's kind of forgettable, I'd say, I'd say probably the third category sounds good, Crash, now, he was a great character, I really did like Crash, however, is he worthy enough for the Tracy Beaker category? I'm not sure. And the same with Jackie as well. I'm just going to put him, place him here right now. Jackie and Crash, they, they're like the two peas in a pod. They have to come together. So I'd say the DG family. Like, we're not really putting any, like, down below right now because, like, none of these characters are, like, legitimately really that bad. Later on, though, we might find some that are. Jenny. I think she was good when she was first in it. But then after a while, she just got a bit boring. So I'd say probably relevant enough to Gus to be in Gus's notebook okay next we have Marco now I was really surprised by this because he is actually like one of the longest standing characters like he was in lots and lots of episodes in the original tv show but I just I, I, he, he, he was just like sort of there and no one really knew about him is that just me is Marco secretly everyone's favorite character who knows but I think I'm, I'm sorry, I'm struggling. Third category or fourth category? Like, I really do not remember this character. And I'm a guy who used to watch this show loads. So, like... Uh, I, I think I think Marco, sorry, you're more non-existent than Tracy's mum. I've just... I, I don't really know you. Adele. Now, Adele, I... I think she was, like, trying to be, like, the older one. Trying to be, like, really like a great character that everyone would look up to but like i thought she was just a bit annoying you know is it is it just me um every time she was there she was just yeah i think she was just kind of annoying for me i mean you guys might disagree but me personally i just found her very annoying so i think she's gonna have to go and elaine the pain's best mate layla now i actually really liked layla i thought like as a side character she was pretty funny at times so i'd say yeah, relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. Yeah. Nathan. Now, he was good when he first came, and then he sort of got a bit boring, and, like, he didn't really do much, in my personal opinion. He was just sort of, like, there for when the plot needed him, and when the plot didn't need him, he wasn't. So, I think he's going to have to go in the fourth category. Now, we're at the Wellards. All three Wellards. Now, these characters were good. I think they get too much hype occasionally, but they were really good. So, I think Roxy and Rio, especially, they were really good. Chantel, she left halfway through, so we didn't really get to see her as much. Do we put all the Wellards together? Shall we break shall we break tradition and put Chantel below? I'm going to do that, okay? Again, any of these might change. Ben... Now, Ben, I actually really liked Ben. Like, I know he technically wasn't part of the Dumping Ground family, but he's got to go in this category. He was a really good character at the beginning. And uh, him and Tracy's chemistry was on point. It was brilliant. Hayley. Again, one of those characters where, like, I, she was there, but did anyone really, really notice her that much? Or is that just me? Oh, I'm, I'm struggling. Relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook or more non-existent than Tracy's mum? I think we need like a we need like a category between these two. She isn't like as forgettable as these other two characters who are in this category. I'll put her I'll put her like right at the top here, okay? Because like she could almost be in this third category, but she's just not good enough to be in that one. Dolly, I just found her really annoying, personally. I she was just very annoying. So Elaine the Pain's best mate, never really good. Shelly, 
I really did like Shelley as a care worker. I thought she was great. Is she good enough to be in the DG family? Probably not. So, relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. But uh, personally, I think she's better than Jenny, so I'm going to put her above that. Sid. He was there for a little bit. I mean, he was he was a nice addition. Did he really do much? No. I think he just goes behind Haley here. Maxi. Now, I did like Maxi. I thought Maxi was really funny uh, at the beginning. One of my favourite episodes is when they're all trying to watch the football in the beginning and they have to go up to the attic. And Maxi is hilarious in that episode. So I think, is he as good as these characters? Probably not. I think he's 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 definitely high up in this category. Uh, higher than Louise or not? I'd say I'd say yeah. He's probably higher than Louise. Okay, Peter. Now I don't know about anyone else, but like Tracy loved Peter. But did the audience actually like this character? Like I found him so annoying. He just ruined lots of scenes with Tracy in and you, it's very hard to do that. Do people actually like this character? Like I really did not like him. I was so glad when he left. Um, I'd say Elaine the Pain's best mate. I'm sorry, Peter, he was, he was just like trying to be too good and it just, it didn't work out for him. Ryan and Zach, the perfect duo. I thought they, they were good personally. Are they good enough to be relevant in Gus's notebook? I think they were they were kind of... Well, they weren't exactly forgettable. They were just there, and then when they were gone, no one really missed them. So... I'd say that they're probably high. They're probably high enough to um, be in this column. A lot higher in this column. But then um, maybe above Sid. I put them together, because they need to be together. They can't be separate, because, you know, they, they come in a pair. Uh, Michael, he just really annoyed me. He really annoyed me. And I'm pretty sure, was it Louise who he started liking halfway through series three? He started liking a character who came back and it, it was just really awkward and really annoying to watch. So he he's, yeah, he's actually, shall we put him in the just bug off column? Is, are we allowed to do that? Is he that bad? I don't know, but is he worse than Peter? Actually, to be honest, Pete is so annoying. Um, right, we've made that decision. I know it's I know it's crazy, but yeah, we're gonna put Michael and Peter in the final column because is it just me or are they just both so annoying? It, am I the only one who thinks that? Uh, let's move on. Wolfie. I mean, he was good while he was in there, but he was really forgettable. Like, extremely forgettable. I'd say more non-existent than Tracy's mum. Like, he was a good character, but like, he... I mean, whenever he was in a scene with Lol and Bouncer, Lol and Bouncer took front stage. He wasn't even in for that long. Alice. Now, she really annoyed me. Just because she came in right near the end, and she just... Was she really that good? She was like... She was similar to Adele, and they both kind of annoy me, their personalities. So I'll put them... I'll put Alice with Adele. Amber. Now, I did like Amber uh, when she first came in. I thought she was a great addition was she good enough to be part of the DG family? I'd say relevant enough to be in Gus's notebook. I agree with that. But a bit higher. I'd say she's 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 probably the highest here. Sorry, Bouncer, you're going you're going back there. Rebecca. Now I think I really did like this character, but it's very unfortunate that she was only in for one season at the very end of season five. Because in that season she was actually like really good, like I really did enjoy her. But was she good enough to really be any higher than this? Does she go above Amber? I say she just goes below Amber. I it's a shame. I think she would have been higher for me, except from she was only in one season, so we didn't really get to see her much. Millie, scary Millie, yeah, well she she's very scary. She was just annoying. So she's going in Elaine the Pain's best mate. But anyway, guys, that is our finished story of Tracy Beaker tier list. Now, you can see down below there's lots more characters, characters from Tracy Beaker Returns and The Dumping Ground. If you do want to see those tier list videos coming up soon, make sure that you smash the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. And then if this video gets to 10 likes, we will release the Tracy Beaker Returns tier list and we will add those characters onto this already awesome tier list. 
And I really hope that you have enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure that you let us know in the comments where you would place these characters in your very own tier list. Remember, make sure you click in the link in the description down below so that you can play along at home on this tier list and then share it on social media, tag us at Gate of Theory so that we can see where you guys would place your characters on this tier list. But again, if you want to see a future video of this, make sure you leave a like. And as always, we've been here in Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.